Hey, Adam, you look terrible. I sound terrible right now. You look it too, but... So we're playing Batman now. Yes, I am Batman. Okay, Batman. I just have one question. For I'm all right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a brand new episode of As the Buckle Turns. And it is true, I, I do actually have a a cold right now, and I sound absolutely terrible. I Wait, wait, I know who you're doing. You're not doing Batman. Okay, who am I doing? You're doing the game, Triple H. Uh, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know. I could do a, a terrible Vince McMahon. <laughs> You're far. No, 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 that's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Maybe. All right, all right. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Adam. I'm Tim. And this week, um, oh wow, I I'm I actually had my voice for a moment there. <laughs> uh, this week we have it's it's news. It's just a bunch of news. Just news. Yeah. We are going to kind of run down a card. We're sadly not going to be giving predictions for it. Yep, unfortunately, because we just realized it's Monday. It, it, the show is on Monday, and we have not done any research regarding that show. Yeah, of course, you were determined to do predictions I, for I, it. I still want to do predictions. Yeah, I love it, doing predictions. So do I, but I mean... If and you were, I need to catch up to you. We need at least we need at least a week. Okay, all right. So, to, so we, have, we know that, at least. Well, let's go ahead and start off with... Uh, let's actually go with a place that we really don't care about at the moment. Oh, you're talking about the Florida of the world. Yes. Australia. Well, not that, that specifically. I'm talking about what's going there. Oh, the uh, the Super Show Down Under show. You forgot mate. Mate. There you go. Put some put some shrimp on the bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Grab yourself a can of Fosters. Yeah. So to, probably by the time this goes actually by the time this goes up, the Super the Show Down Under already done. Will be over. So how was it? Oh, terrible! Not surprised. Nothing happened in it. Okay. Yeah. They yeah. they pushed a storyline between four gentlemen who are practically. Three gentlemen who are in their fifties, and one gentleman who's not, and who's one gentleman about who, to be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I, which is not even going to be the main event, apparently. Oh God! Roman Reigns is closing the show. Uh, who? What? Why? Because it's Vince, and he's an idiot. I mean, at first I was like, oh, okay, this is just another stupid house show because. You know, uh, the Saudi prince wants another house show. No, that's later on. Mm -hmm. This is part of, this is the big show in their, what, Australia tour? I think so. I'm, I don't know. I think they This just, is like the India show. I think they just did a, they got someone, I don't know how this came about. All of a sudden they announced it at this big show in October. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, not a big house show. I... It is fun to watch house shows because they, you know, usually the the wrestlers are allowed to do, they have a little bit more free reign. Oh yeah, but you're not going to get this in this show because it's actually being broadcast it's be on the broadcast on, on the network. So, out of this though, I do look forward to seeing Shawn Michaels back in action. Uh, I do look forward to see. It is the hey. Brothers of Destruction versus DX is actually a cool thing. It's not Even, this show. Oh, it's Triple H versus Undertaker. Oh, in this I'm, show. I'm, You're thinking about the Crown Jewel. Yeah, Crown Jewel. The, the oh, rumor, okay. Which will probably be true. It, the, basically, this is going to be the D, in DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah, it'll set up for probably a tag match. The and rumor is. judging by the way that Raw went down this past week, where you mean Shawn Michaels got so scared that he lost all of his hair? By the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. When when did Shawn shave his head? I don't know when he shaved his head. I know he cut his he cut his hair back for uh, around Hall of Fame. Yeah. I didn't know how he buzzed like, it off. He, that that is shaved off. Maybe they they wanted him to go for more look, like so they're kind of comparing to DX. Who knows? Or maybe that he just realized it was so thin. He's just like he's just like yeah, I just shave it. The short the short hair isn't giving me enough the, anymore. No, I'm I'm losing a lot of hair. Okay, just shave it. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, in the same way that uh, Undertaker Mark at one point was just like, just shave my head. Yeah. And then was able to grow it back out and was like, ah, it doesn't actually look that bad. No. Um, yeah, it's just, this show is going to be ridiculous. 
Predictions wise and rumors that have leaked, nothing's happening. No. No titles are changing hands. Nothing's changing. It's going to be a continuation of every crappy story that they're telling so far. I'm just hoping that we have better in ring matches during yeah. this. Oh, um, which is a shame because this would be a great time to put the belt on Samoa Joe. Oh, I'm going to totally try to watch it. Uh, because he's on fire right now. Yes. Um, it's a great story. Um, but WD2K19 launches today. This is because we're recording on Friday. Technically, it launches on Tuesday. Technically. It's official launches on Tuesday. Uh, no, I actually think today's the official launch. Because the last time I looked it up, it said, um, on slides, it said launch date, like date, today. Oh. Um, who well, knows? Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Um, and AJ's on the cover. So, yes, I can understand you don't want to drop the, to drop the belt immediately after uh, the game. Yeah. I can understand that. But Joe's on fire. He deserves that belt right and now. And he has a valid reason being like, I didn't lose. He tapped yeah. out. I beat him. Yeah. And... Um, it'd be great timing. Uh, the the rumor matchup for uh, SmackDown 1000. Yes, it's apparently a triple a four way a fatal four way. AJ defending against Joe, Daniel Bryan, and the Miz. Okay, so that would actually be a good time if you're gonna tr- if you're gonna change the belt there. Yeah, um, but do it. This <laughs> Joe makes the Miz tap out or something. But here's the reason why they should um ha- put the belt on Joe at Super Show. A, you make it so like, oh, something actually does happen at these yeah. glorified house well, shows. Because AJ won the U.S. title at Madison Square Garden. Yep. But not even that. It'll be the second time in a, since the WWE Championship changed hands that it changed hands outside the U.S. Because when AJ won it, it was outside the U.S. Yeah. How about he drops the belt outside, outside the, the U.S.? US. Okay. All right. It's a great, I like, like it. saying, like, like his... Second title reign started outside and ends outside. It'd be a great little thing. Yeah. Um, to do it that way. So that's another thing. But nothing's gonna happen. It's just like, don't care. And the fact that everyone that the stupid um, poster. Yes. Thirty-five percent of the people aren't even booked for the show. Why would you put them on the poster then? Who knows? Becky Lynch is one that she she released on SmackDown this week. What was a better poster? Did you not see it? No, no, I didn't. Um, it actually, brace yourself. What? It took from her beatdown at a photo shoot of Charlotte yes. the week before. They used that to make a poster of her standing with the women's title with her foot on F- Charlotte Flair with the stadium in the background. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is a cool poster. Cool poster, not just because it's on what it is, but it actually took something that happened the week before for yeah. a photo shoot and made it and used it again. Some payoff to this is another beatdown, a random beatdown, or or a random photo shoot. Yeah, so it was great. I mean, well, uh, but speaking, speaking of Becky, of Becky Lynch, 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 the same thing. We'll do that. That's our segue. It appears that she has actually won someone someone over who's high up in the back backstage now. Take this rumor with a grain of salt because yes. the people who broke this, I do not remember the name. Um, but I saw it from Wrestle Talk. Yes, yeah, so did I. And they made it clear that the, these people have a wishy washy of actually breaking things that are true. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but not like when they break something that's true, it's really true. Sometimes it's not. Yes. Um, but the rumor is that since um, SummerSlam to now, Becky Lynch has. One over Vince McMahon. I of all people. Yeah, like he loves what she's doing. Um, I really hope that it's true. Oh, so do I. Because of the fact that she is Stone Cold Becky Lynch. Yeah. Uh, she, or more accurately, she's the what Irish Irish, Irish lash kicker. Yes, Becky Lynch. I still like Stone Cold Becky Lynch. I, I I do too. It's so easy. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah, but no, like that's the thing. Why I'm like, I hope it's true myself because they've been pushing the narrative that Flair is the babyface, Becky's the heel. Even though they're not saying that. No, no, no. no, no. no. But Becky's been attacking yeah. Charlotte. The, so you listen to commentary. You listen. You look at oh how god, they yeah, promos for Raw for SmackDown. It's. They're, they're positioning Charlotte's the babyface, Becky's the heel, 
and he's like you should be sympathetic to Charlotte. And yeah. It's like no, yeah. Charlotte was a bitch to her best friend, and sh- and tried everything possible to prevent her friend from getting the championship. A singles match. Yes. And Ballers and like oh, you lost of your rematch, um, to Carmella. Yeah. Oh, you go away for a few weeks and then you come back. You all oh, you get to have a match. That if you win, you get to be added to a match. No. No. No, you shouldn't be part of this match at all. No. So, it's definitely a, works their way. But here's the thing. I, can, I, I hope it's um true. I kind of hope they don't change anything if it's true. Because you know what? I, I kind of like Becky being a little bit uh, aggressive. Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, because I see the thing I think that they could do if Vince likes it actually do it the way the fans want it is position it's actually flares the bait the heel yeah and becky's the baby face i don't want to do that because i actually thought about it a second in this moment because i like it what better way to have to have a heel who is saying no i'm the face here everyone's telling me it's showing you i'm the face here so when you actually eventually you do so make a the, sympathetic heel no, no, you basically, you make it, you eventually make the switch, but it's after a long build of like, no, I'm the, like, so this is I, the person you're supposed to be cheering for. And then she, when Charlotte says, enough, and says, basically you get the switch. Okay. And it's not, uh, and then Becky's back to, uh, being baby face, being face. No, she's, nothing changes with Becky. Nothing it's just, changes. It's just, you move Charlotte away from Becky. Yeah, and Charlotte and, flips on someone else, and she's a heel to other people. Yeah, yeah, that that could, that could work because that way Becky can still be more aggressive, um, and you she works with both heels and baby faces. Okay, uh, because the fans are still gonna cheer Becky. Yes, no matter who you put in the ring with her, but that way it's like you're not saying she's one or the other. It's like right. she's Becky Lynch. I'm for myself. Exactly. I don't care about like so. No matter who's in the ring. Uh, you get I'm, my way. I'm gonna fight them. Yeah, you piss me off. I'm gonna be. I'll attack you. Yeah. So I've got no no reason to. I'm like I'm the champion. Yeah. Anybody that wants to challenge me, they're gonna have a fight. The thing I do want to see though is when she moves onto her next feud as women's champion, she should be not drop it back to Charlotte, which I'm no. afraid of. But continue hanging on to it. Um, but if she does keep the belt and she moves on to the next feud, she should not be attacking anyone. No. She's aggressive still, but she, it makes it very clear that she'll attack you if she you and she should be attacking <laughs> if you're that much of a threat. Not just a threat. No, she should be attacking people when they downplay her role, her placing. Like, okay, saying like you lost it after two months when you won it the first time. Why should yeah. I even? I, I'm you're gonna not beat even like you. yeah. I'm gonna beat you like, and then she's to prove her point. You can, you can almost say it's out of uh, insecurity, which is could be more of a heel t- tactic. Yeah. Or it's like, no, I'm fine that you see who the real Becky this, Lynch this is. This is the real Becky Lynch. And you put me in. A, you don't show me respect that I've earned. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make your life hell. All right. There I you mean, go. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, we do have an injury to talk about, though. Yeah, uh, we do. It seems that Pete Dunn has a quote unquote. Severe injury. We don't know that because but the people who we just po- know it's an injury. Yeah, because the people who posted it, severe injury, re-edited it to something else, and also stated that WWE will announce the injury in a couple of days. So maybe- I'm willing to bet WWE is waiting those couple of days because there's about to be a record broken. Yeah. Um. Turns out that Pete Dunn will break. The Oscars record. Oscars record for holding uh, for holding a championship. Yep, in the WWE uh, title, um, belt, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah, because this past week they announced the 500 days of Pete Dunne as UK champion. Yes, technically the day they announced it, it was 503 days already. All right. Um. So today I think he's already broken Oscars okay. record. I well, think. Whatever. But. If he makes it to like Monday, I believe it'll be 510 days, which would break Brock Lesnar. No, no, because Brock Oscars was, like, was longer than his. Yeah. But it's just like it's one of those things that like it'll be a guaranteed broke. Okay. Um, in WWE's um positioning, right? You know, like 
they'll still be like, yeah, it doesn't really count. Yeah, so <laughs> because it's the uh, UK Championship, it's not a, it's not constantly defended. You're like, but he's been defending it this oh. entire time. Yeah, not in okay, TV guys. shows, but he's defended it. Yeah, he's defended it at NXT. He's defended it at the UK um, tournament. Yes. Uh, He's defended it in the UK tapings. So it's like, yeah. I know. I know. Uh, But I hope that it's nothing too bad. Yes. uh, And that he's able to continue on with his career. I I seriously hope it's not a career-ending injury. I don't think it is. Normally, that kind of news is like blows up the internet. Yeah. Um, But we might be sidelined for a while. Yeah, it'll be interesting if he did. If it is a severe injury and they do have to strip him of the belt. It'd be the second belt in a year that championship reign has ended. Due to injury? <laughs> yes. With Asuka's being there. Though I'm pretty sure Asuka's was fave kayfabe. Yeah. Um, to get the belt off her so they could bring her over the main roster without her being undefe- losing her undefeated streak. True. Only to lose it to Flair in the in a, the most dumbest way. I Flair, Charlotte was the person to lose it to? No, it wasn't. Whatever. You Becky, can, it, Becky Lynch yeah, was a person. Yeah, it, it, Becky wasn't at that time. Yes, she Becky was. Becky is today. Well, that's what I'm saying. She should have been built to but up to that. But at no. that time, it wasn't. No. If, Charlotte she wasn't. But built. Charlotte was the person at no. that time. No, she wasn't. Yes, yeah, she was. Mm. You, no. That was a decision that they made, and they said that Charlotte was the person at that time. I don't care. It was, it was wrong. <laughs> All right, you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh let's move on to Survivor Series. Oh yeah, so the rumor is going out there that it's not going to be your Raw versus SmackDown show. Yeah, that it has been for what two almost years. a decade? No, uh, no two, two three year, years. Two years since the Raw split. The mm. brand split. Yes, because uh, well, before that, it was bragging rights. Yeah, was the last time, and they weren't doing Survivor Series with teams. They were doing. They did Stuff do, like that at bragging rights. They did do teams and all that at Survivor Series, but it was more for the show, the brands, not between the shows. Yeah. It was, yeah, so. Oh, uh, and this year, definitely, let's not do the champion versus champion. I, yes, Brock and AJ did put on a great show, a great match. Yep. But I don't want to see AJ have to carry Roman through a match. No. Where it ends up just being a bunch of spots. Or I don't want to see Joe have to carry. Yeah. Or Daniel, if he happens to get it. Or, or The Miz. The Miz. Because you know that all four of them will lose to Roman. Yes. Because Roman is... Roman is Roman, and no one can beat Roman. Nope. So... Only Roman can beat Roman. With us not possibly being focused on Raw versus SmackDown, there's a good chance we won't see that. Yay! Uh, not saying that, that there won't be an actual Raw vs. SmackDown match. No. But it won't it's be. It's not going to be the focus of the, the focus show. Of, according to plans. And the reason we know this is because apparently the a match on the card is, that's being scheduled is Baron Corbin's team versus Kurt Angle's team for control over Raw. Okay. Just looking at this, Angle can easily get people together. Yes. Because, you know, he's a nice guy, people like him, he's stiff in the ring, but whatever, people respect him. Yeah. So they'll work with him. Baron Corbin's just been like, well, he's that manager who moved up from being a crew member to Mm -hmm. now being like a shift supervisor that everyone just goes, wow, dude, you changed. Yeah. You became an asshole to everyone because you have power. Yep. And he's like, well, yeah. So the only reason he's going to have anyone on his team, it's going to be a bunch of heels, Yep, uh, is because he'll promise them things if they win. Yeah. It'll be like, uh, Ziggler, you're going to get uh, a shot at the Intercontinental title. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Who else could know that he's on SmackDown? Yeah. Um, really? Drew McIntyre. McIntyre. Hmm. You'll get a shot at. The Intercontinental title. The Universal Championship. No, it won't. No, they won't give him that shot right now. Yeah, actually, that he, he's the rumored next opponent after Braun. Okay, so... Oh, God. Because there's a rumor that... The, I'm so sorry, Drew. There's some people... The rumor is that they think they might, they might do is build to... Is have Drew get a pin on Roman at the uh, the Super Showdown. 
Okay. Um, you know, I'm pin, totally actually, cool with that. Pin him um, at Crown Jewel. It's a triple threat match already scheduled. But so at Survivor Series, they can then say, "I pinned you. I deserve a shot at the Universal Championship," and that will be a match. All right, that's cool. So, but I mean, it's a valid reason. But who knows? Honestly, I at this point, I really don't care about Survivor Series. I care more about Evolution, where we have only three mat, four matches planned. I, yeah. And how many? Oh, how far away is that? It's at the end of the month. Oh yay! Um, more predictions. And they've only kind of teased one feud with Alexa Bliss on Raw this week, so doing her Taste of Bliss or something like that. Yes. Uh, talking about Trish. Oh, now um, that would be. I guess that would be cool. But it's just like because that's the one of the ma- that was the first match announced for the show. Oh, is Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss? Okay, that that's that sounds like a really cool match. I'm okay. I with that. I would say oh, what Becky and Charlotte aren't having a match. Oh, I'm sure they will. They, um, but they have. We know that the Raw and SmackDown title, women titles, NXT women's titles will be defended as well. Okay, as well as the UK women's title defense again. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I guess. I guess. You maybe. don't know, but we do. But even if it isn't. The finals of the Mae Young Classic okay. will be on there. Those are the four matches we know. Those are the those are the four titles that we know of. Okay. Possibly the, the women's tag division will be debu- debuted. But actually, I really want it to be debuted. So do I. But the only actual matches we ha- know for a fact right now that have been this determined is uh, it is uh, Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss. Yep. Mickey James versus Lita. Okay. And Kari Sane defending I mean, the NXT yeah. title versus. Thank you, Mickey, for giving yeah. to getting into having a match again. Yeah, but uh, Kari Sane defending the NXT title against Shayna Blazer. Okay. Um, those are the only matches official. We know the title, other titles are going to be on there, but we don't know who they and, are. And this is just a couple weeks away. I mean, we do know who the finals of the Mae Young Classic are, even though the, it's going on yes it it's still yeah. it's still happening right yeah. now it was fully taped everything's been done yes for know, a while now but they haven't officially announced because they, the the tournament's going on being debuted yes being, i was gonna say i'm like wasn't it august that yeah. it they recorded they re- it they taped everything yeah and they um are now it's actually the second round started this week on on the network yes okay so Every like the entire tournament's actually finished. Yeah, they know who the, yeah. fi- the except for the finals. Yes, which, which will be at Evolution. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to know the finals are, uh, fast forward a little qu- very quickly. So uh, because it's a spoiler, I'm about to say what it's Io Shirier versus Tony Storm. I wish I yes, I do remember that. Uh, I accidentally uh, released that like way back because of Wikipedia. Yep, yeah. it was uh, like oops. It was, I I found out the spoilers because um. Tegan Knox, known as um, yeah, she Nixon got injured. Newell, Newell, Newell. I like I like to say Newell for some reason I don't know why. Got injured in a match. Yes, unfortunately, and apparently she actually they the rumor was she was supposed to win it. Yes, um, that was that was the rumored plan and for her to win it and have a huge run on NXT. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> Too bad she got injured. Yes. Um, I, which I still haven't found out anything. I cannot find anything about her injury. Like, uh, what did it happen? She th- apparently, there was a rumor that it may be an ACL know. injury again, which she kept her out of the Leon Classic last year. Oh, that sucks. But I can't find like Nothing has been else been announced about oh. it. So I'm like, come on! Go I want to find Wikipedia out. Wikipedia page. I have. It doesn't oh. say anything. Oh, all right. Trust me, I've been looking. <laughs> so, which sucks. Well, then, it does also... There, there's one more rumor regarding Survivor Series, though. What's that? that Shawn Michaels is getting a singles match there. Yeah, but I don't care about that. The against moment. The Undertaker. Yeah, we mentioned that already, though, like a week or two ago. Yeah, I know, but s- yeah. still, like, it, it's part of this Shawn Michaels storyline that's happening at Super Showdown, Survivor Series, Crown Jewel, and, and or maybe uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah. Which, yeah. if it is happening yeah. at Royal Rumble instead of Survivor Series, then I'm willing to bet that there's a, going to be a push to WrestleMania. Probably. I mean, my thing is right now, like, I care more about Evolution because it's supposed to be a huge show. Yes. And the rumor for the main event is not going to be good. It's not good. Because apparently another rumor for Super Showdown, mates, 
um, is that grab your Fosters. Ronda Rousey is teaming with the Bellas. They'll win, and oh, then God damn it. Nikki's gonna turn on Ronda oh, to God. set up their their title shot. <laughs> Nikki turns on Ronda. Ronda turns around and goes, "Stop that!" <laughs> Just smacks her. Like Just, really, <laughs> really, you do not want to actually get in a fight with me. Yeah, because both like it's funny that well, no, it's not funny. It's actually really sad that Brie, who was at one point the stronger of the two in yep. ring is now the weaker of the two in ring and Nikki hasn't gotten any better. No. Um I did see Daniel Ryan has took into Twitter. Oh yes. To defend his wife. Oh, I I agree with Totally he's, understand defending her. I defending her. And here's the thing is, he's right about most of it because of the stuff he's defending her against oh. is all the hate. Oh yes, yes. I mean, we have every right to criticize her mistakes. Oh god, the suicide dives that were almost suicides. Yes. I mean, and we uh, we've already we've even mentioned it on this. We, we did it last week. Um, we mentioned it, and we also um, by the way, Liv Morgan it. is is part of whatever travel that they're doing right yeah, now. Yes, she's been cleared, which is good. Um, she she posted on on uh, Twitter, Snapchat, something like that of uh, her. Uh, I forget who she was sitting next to, but it's one of the stable mates. And then their third was like three rows up and way off to the left on the plane from them, and it was just like. Hey. Um, I had a feeling she was probably gonna be going. Even if she wasn't cleared, she'd still be going just to be part. Yeah, she just wouldn't take any bumps. Which or anything. means that she got cleared for travel. Yeah. Well, no, I think she got, actually got cleared to wrestle as well. Oh, good, good. Um, so it wasn't I, that that severe of a concussion. I think it was. Did you see what she did to her? Did to her hair? <laughs> what? It's pink. It's per- pinkish purple. Whatever. It's cool. Clearly, she's uh, nothing's clear in the heck. No. <laughs> now, if she went like, ah, oh, I don't know, super bright orange, then I'd worry about her, you know, mentally. No, I just thought it was funny. Like she got concussed, and yeah. then she changed her hair. And oh was yeah, like, like that's because of the concussion. It's all your fault, Brute. No, but like going back to the brief thing really quickly is like, um, we made an analogy. There was a timing mistake on both their parts. Oh god, yeah. But again, we point out the fact that it's another thing on with Bree. Since coming back. Yeah, since coming back, Brie has not been at the level that she used to no. be. Um, like, she came back early. So it's just one of those things where it's just like, that is fair game, and if Brian has a problem with that, um, no, it, that's I mean, dude, it. Seriously, take a look at I'm sorry. Just look at the tapes, dude. I'm sorry, but that's fair game. Yeah. People telling her she's like needs to she's die, a person. or she's trying to hurt people, you know, to get herself over. No, That's wrong. No, no. no. Cuz what Brian actually came out and said it was like people wrestlers hurt other wrestlers all the time. Yeah. He um he did it to um what's his name who's an NXT commentator back in 2008. Um he's someone oh and to a few years ago and then he just hit um Sam Amos in the head a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Luckily he was okay, but he didn't get in that backlash. No. Um so it's one of those things, like, and he's absolutely right to just point the, that out. I have actually noticed that the fan reaction to women, yeah, and a, well, we'll call it an accident, uh, an accidental injury mm-hmm. from another woman performer, immediately is like, no, you're trying to cut down your competition to get yourself higher. When we know that at one point in the wrestling industry, yeah, everyone did that, yeah. But we've just kind of accepted that men are going to do it anyway. Yeah. It's but okay. women, women should never do that. It's okay for men to do it, but women, no. But the current generation of wrestlers are like, yeah, we push ourselves hard physically. Yeah. We're not doing the extreme crap anymore. Yeah. But we're hitting each other harder than we used to. Yep. But we still have a, a level of trust yes. between myself and who I'm in the ring with. Yep. That I go... All right, I trust that you're not going to actually try to hurt me. Yeah. We're going to hit each other hard, but you're not out here to hurt me. And I'm not out here to hurt you. If it happens, oh, God, I'm sorry about that. We're going to grab, you know, you want dinner? I'll pay for dinner. I don't care. Yeah, so. uh, I'm not paying for your hospital bills. uh, Sorry about that. uh, And you shouldn't be asked request someone to carry your bags. Yeah, I... I did, mean, you hear, did you hear about that? No, what's it? this now? This one, just kind of, I, I had to slip this I mean, in there. It, it is a little bit of a, you know, freshman hazing thing. Oh, no, this thing was like, I slipped that one in for something that happened with Booker T. 
when Austin, when he debuted and he hurt Austin. Yeah. One of the people, someone backstage, I can't remember who to, who it was. It may have been Kevin Dunn, but I don't think it was. Um, someone backstage told to make it up to Austin, he should carry his bags for him. Well, I mean, that's, okay, in, in the classic days of wrestling, of pro wrestling, mm. if you injured a guy, that was kind of a thing you would do. Yes, but here's my thing. It was another. It was a white guy yes. carrying a black guy to carry another white the, man's. The entire situation does not look good from the outside. No. <laughs> now, if you look at it from Kevin Dunn being an old school wrestling I guy, I don't know. If going, it was Ke- hey, you hurt him. You carry his bag for a week. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Kevin Owen. Kevin Dunn or, who said that. But I know, get. I get. I get. Bob like, Holly, you know. Yeah. Some of the, somebody somebody of heck Taker. Yeah. Taker would be like, you're carrying his bag for a week. Um, so it's just like, it was just kind of funny that you know, so I just said that in there, but again, it's just like, I mean, also dumb. with Booker T and the triple H situation, it doesn't look good. No. Booker T was not brought in and treated very well. No. For pretty much his entire WWE run. Yeah. He was either a joke or he was putting people over that he shouldn't need to put people no. over. And when he got his King Booker gimmick and he that was the got- joke. Yeah, and then he got over. Oh, yes. So they had no choice but to put the title on him. I know. So. But, no, okay, so let's move on from this because we have other stuff we got to talk about. And New always, Japan. And we're already 31 minutes in. <laughs> it's time for some New Japan Pro Wrestling news. Oh, yeah, that's all we have left, isn't yes, it? Yes, <laughs> that, that is actually the last thing. And it's actually, uh, so upcoming this coming week, uh, on October 8th, we have the King of Pro Wrestling pay-per-view event yeah i guess i don't know how they look at what they do we still call them pay-per-views but the event it, will take place october yes it's I'm gonna monday see. yeah monday so it's I'm a, gonna taking say. place on a monday so i have the card here thank you for having the card i'm gonna and i'm going to hand my phone to you because i will butcher those names okay left and right so i'll just have you do it okay and that way i can laugh at you so we're gonna run down the card these are not our official predictions it's not going to be counted into our overall total no nope. For our year run, I wish, I, I admit I do wish we could we knew it was so soon so we could plan for prediction. Yeah, especially because of the main event. Kind of thought it was going to be a little bit further off. Yeah, like I'd, next weekend. Yeah, maybe another week. And that turned out to be um, Ring of Honor show. Yeah, exactly. Which we are doing predictions for. Yes, next week. All right. So this is the King of Pro Wrestling sixteen. No, <laughs> what did I? King of Pro. Uh, it's just. King of Pro Wrestling 2018. You're thinking of uh, Ring of Honor. Yes, the uh, yes, that show. Uh, so this is going to be taking place in Tokyo, Japan, and I am not even going to try the the name of the venue. Just mm-hmm. Not going to try yeah. it. Hmm. All right, so um, I'm just going to run down on Wikipedia from the first match all the way to the last, which is nine matches on the card, on the current card. All matches are all uh, card is always subject to change. Yeah, but at this point, if they added another match, I'd be surprised. So, uh, the first match is a tag team match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. We have Suzuki Gun, with represented by El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Uh, they're the current t- uh, title holders. Uh, versus Jushin, Jushin Thunder Liger and Tiger Mask. Nice. Technically, it's Tiger Mask 4. Yeah, okay. But nobody else is around as a tiger mask, so he's tiger mask. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I don't actually... I kind of feel that Josh, Jushin Thunder, Liger... The dude's... The dude needs to retire. <laughs> like, I understand that you can... You, you've done a very great job of being able to go for as long as you have. Yeah. But you're not Ric Flair. No. I mean, you probably are in Japan. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind on that one. But, I mean, like, it was cool when he came over and did a match with um, Prince Pretty, yeah. Tyler Breeze, in NXT. Uh, he's done, mat- he's that was, done a match with... Uh, it was great. It was actually a really good match. It was probably one of the... It was Ray one of the Mysterio. Yeah, but not in WWE, though. I could have sworn it was. No. He had a small run in WWE. No, he didn't. Because that's the reason why they brought him over to NXT, like the biggest deal. No, that's Ultimo Dragon. Yes. Who then retired completely. Yeah. So basically showed up for about one year, went, hey, I think big he went, paycheck. 
he came back. I actually think he did go back to New Japan for uh, Japan for a little bit after his WWE run, but then retired. Okay, yeah, I know. But that he, he, he didn't was, wrestle much longer after. No, the WWE. he was much older than he, where he should be to be in the ring. Oh yeah, and it was during a period where WWE was picking up older talent. Yeah, and he. They just kind of said, yeah, Finley well, was one of them. <laughs> he bring, they, he bring him, they brought him in for the cruiserweights, and he wasn't... He wasn't in shape to keep up. Not even that. It's just they didn't care about their cruiserweights. So it was no, like, what was the point? Never, they've never cared about no. them. Anyway, uh, so second match is a tag team match. Once again, thank you, New Japan, for actually having just a lot of tag team stuff yes. to keep everyone working. Yeah. Uh, we have Great Bash Heel, which is Togi uh, Makabe and Tomoaki Hanma. Uh, versus Taguchi Japan, Juice Robinson in uh, Toa Hanair. Yep. Uh, cool. Juice Robinson, by the way, had to re- had to uh, apologize recently. Yes. He lost his U.S. title and he said, I'm sorry for saying I'm the new American dream. Yes. Or just calling himself the American dream. Mm. Now, if he said that he's the new American dream, he that did. would be... Oh, okay. He, he, did. Okay, he did. Never mind. That's why he apologized. The funny part is, like, he's part of... When they're doing it, doing stuff in Japan, he's part of the show being the elite. Yeah. Which is awesome to see. All right. So speaking of the elite, <laughs> we have Bullet Club Elite, Matt Jackson, Nick Jassian, and Hangman Page and Chase Owens versus Bullet Club OG, Bad Luck Fale, Tama Tonga, Tonga Lao, and uh, Tajiri Ishimori, the newest member of the Bullet Club. Yep. Uh, in an eight-man tag match. This is going to be a war. Yeah, it is. Uh, because very recently, Matt and Nick Jackson lost the IWGP Heavyweight Title uh, Tag Team Championship to Tama Tonga and Tonga Lao. Yes, they did. Oh, no. It was the Gorillas yeah, of Destiny. They are the Gorillas of Destiny. I yeah. keep forgetting that. <laughs> so. I keep thinking that Gorillas of Destiny are a different tag team within the bullet. I'm like, no, it's they're the firing squad. Yeah. <laughs> which... How many names are they part of now? Because uh, I, that's what I liked about New Japan. Like, if you have these two guys, this is the, who they are. This is the tag team. But you add one more person, it's there's a different name. It's a different name. You would never see that in WWE. Oh, and they're part of, like, Golden Elite is the four-man tag group of Matt and Nick Jackson, yep. uh, Kenny Omega, and Kota Ibushi. Yep. But if they add somebody else in there, it just goes back to being the Elite. Yep. So, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to... I, I want to see that match. I don't care how short it is or what. Yeah. Uh, Matt is still dealing with a back injury. Uh, Hangman Page still has... Anger issues. <laughs> well, whatever happened to him after All In, and he was carried out by the penises. Oh, okay. Um, that, that's still going on in his head. Jace Owens and Hangman Page actually recently had a good tag match. Okay. Um... But yeah, this is going to be a fight. Yeah, it is. All right, next up, we've got a six-man tag match. Uh, it's Chaos, Tomohiro Ishii, uh, Hiroki Goto, and Will Ospreay versus Suzuki Gun, uh, Min- uh, Minoru Suzuki, uh, Taichi, and Takashi... Sorry, that's actually me trying not to cough. Uh, Takashi uh, Lizuka. Okay. Uh, yay, Will Ospreay? <laughs> <coughs> Damn Sorry. you, Japan pro, res- pro Wrestling. What are you trying to do? Get rid of singles wrestling? You just want to focus on tag teams? N- no, there's... Fuck you. No. There's still a couple of singles I, matches on here. I know. I'm just... But they make their singles matches more special by yeah. doing it. Well, that's the thing. Like One of the things I liked about... Um, I've kind of noticed in New Japan is... When you have more tag matches, even if they're not specifically tag team, part of a tag team... No. That's how you get over. If you get a good match there... And you work your way through. If a you're win there, working well with others, they're gonna be like, "All right, we'll let's... put you in a singles match. We'll see what you can do in these singles matches." Yeah, that's their version of a push. Is yep. that they put they, they put you at the next level, which is singles matches. Yes, and they're like, "All right, now you're doing that. Now we're gonna see where we can put you to get you a title." Yeah, maybe at least a title shot yep. or in the title picture. Yeah. All right. Uh, so next up is another eight man tag team match. It's chaos. Uh, Kazuchika, Okada, Toru Yano, and Yo and Sho. Okay. Uh, versus Los Ignobles de Japón, uh, Tetsuya Naito, Sonata Bushi, and To Be Announced. Yes. So 
mystery yes. partner. Naito had announced that there's going to be a new member to, yeah, Los Ignobles. Yes. Dead Japan. Sure. Uh, and that, that announcement was, what, two days ago? I guess so. Tuesday, Wednesday? Some people were thinking that the way he announced it, because it says X on there, yep. which was a tease for Pac, a.k.a. formerly known as Neville, for Dragon Gate, which he's returned to. I don't think it's him. No, neither do I. So some people were saying it could be Pac because of the same way. No, um, Pac actually wrestled someone from at Dragon Gate when yes. he came back. I can't remember his name, but that guy was on his way out, and it's believed he's going to Japan. So, And then... Naito's faction is stable. Yes. Everyone has a connection to him. The guy who's coming in... Has a connection to him? Yes. So it would make sense that he would be part of the stable. All right. All right. Now we're on to the singles matches of the night. About fucking time. So we've got Evil versus Zack Sabre Jr. in a singles match. Nice. Uh, That's just going to be Zack Sabre Jr. trying to uh, make Evil just be a pretzel. (laughs) Yep. (sighs) I, seriously, that man is known for making every... He has great matches with people. Yeah. But his style is just, I'm going to wear you down. Yeah. It's just mat play. Yeah. We're not going to be running around. I'm not going to be diving off from stuff. I'm going to bring you to the mat, and I'm yeah. going to bend you around like a pretzel. Yep. Yeah. All right, then we've got, for the sing... Uh, it's a singles match for the vacant IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. It's Kushida... Versus Marty Skrull. Mm-hmm. Marty is getting a big push right now. Yeah. All In has a great match with Okada. Yep. Uh, comes back, has a great match with, um, oh, Will well, Ospreay. I want Okada, I want uh, Squirrel to win this. Yes. And then immediately drop it down and say, I'm being, I'm a heavyweight. Or, or even better, they have to weigh him after the match and he weighs 206. Yeah. And have to strip him of the title. And he's just like, ah, but I'm not actually ready to be with everyone. Like Matt and Nick are like, hey, congratulations, buddy. I'm like, I don't want to be a heavyweight. It's like, I no, I, I want the I just won the title. I just <laughs> want the title. I need to lose a pound. I need to lose a pound. <laughs> Being the elite for like the next couple of weeks is him trying to lose weight. And he can't. He just keeps bringing he keeps weight gaming, on. keeps <laughs> somehow gaining weight. Yep. All right. Uh, next up is a singles match for the Tokyo Dome IW, IWGP Heavyweight Challenge. Sorry, Heavyweight Championship Challenge Rights Certificate. That is a lot of words. Oh, uh, okay. So this is for uh, this is for a shot at the title in the Tokyo Dome. Yes. Whenever the next Tokyo Dome sh- show will be. Okay. I, that's the way I'm reading it. Okay. I'm sorry. We we actually didn't mention this earlier we don't have internet in as we're recording right now yeah all right so which means that all these times that we've been like well we'll try to look it up later yeah really mean that we can't look it up now uh we got uh hiroshi tanahashi versus jay white oh no i know what this is this is not a special match this is going to be tanahashi's uh briefcase that he won from the g1 special oh that's what it's for which is uh, a title shot at, at uh, Wrestle Kingdom. Kingdom. Yes. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. The way that it's written here, yeah. it's Tokyo Dome IWGP Heavyweight Championship Challenge Rights Certificate. Because that's what you get when you win the G1 Special. It's like, that is so many, so many words. Just yeah. be like, yeah, it's a title shot. Yeah, it's the G1 briefcase. Okay, th- thank you. There you go. Makes <laughs> sense now. <laughs> All right, but yeah, Tanahashi versus Jay White. Ah, Interesting. You know... I think it's time for Jay to get that little next push. Yeah, it'd be interesting because it would put two foreigners in the main event. Exactly. It ha- Has it happened? I don't think not so. Not in the main event. Not in the main anyway, event. Anyway, uh, we've had foreigners. Yes, foreigners but not in the main everyone event. in there. Oh, that, that would be cool. Anyway, and then we've got the three-way match. The second three-way match in all of New Japan Pro Wrestling history for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Also, all three members are the in the same faction. It's Kenny Omega versus Cody versus Kota Ibushi. So <laughs> even if Kenny drops the belt, it is staying in the elite. Yes. Okay. You know what? I like it. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. I don't think Kenny's dropping the belt. No. But I, I'm not... 
I don't really think so, but it would be a cool little thing to, I don't know, move the belt over to Cody for just a little bit and, and then move the belt back. Oh, it would be interesting to see. I don't think they would, that is a WWE, WWE move. Yeah, but, it, or, I don't know. Put it on a bushy. Well, the reason I say Cody, because I would like to see him have four titles yes. at this moment. He's got the NWA Championship, yep. uh, the U.S. No, IWGP I, Heavyweight Championship, yeah. the Ring of Honor Six-Man six man tag. tag Championship, and this would make him a four champion. Four belts. Two of I, uh, New Japan's belts yes. that he won. But he's allowed to carry all four to the ring. Yes. So, yeah. Um if you're gonna, if you were to drop the belt, can you drop the belt already? Which I don't think they're going to do at all because no, it's it's too soon, and the way they they position Kenny, yeah, he he needs to keep the belt at least to Wrestle Kingdom. Oh God, yeah. Um, but I think, uh, so it would be interesting to see is like, oh, 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 um, it's a have. But if you're gonna drop it, put it on a bushi first, post. Wrestle Kingdom. Yep. Okay, I'm going to call it now. It's going to be Jay White versus Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom. Okay. For the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Kenny drops it to Jay. Okay. And the entire elite mm-hmm. shows up at Raw, the next Raw. <laughs> because as Hangman, as Hangman Page, who recently had an offer to join NXT... Was just like, no, if you're going to, you can't just take me. It has to be everyone. Yeah. What actually happens is it actually is everyone. It's the entire elite. It's Cody. Cody comes back and he refuses to be called Cody Rhodes. He's He's Cody. He's Cody. (laughs) He's like, I'm not my father's son anymore. And you're just like, whoa, this (laughs) is the good Cody. Kenny shows up. Matt and Nick Jackson show up. Yeah. Hangman Page and... Well, Hangman Page, yeah, quite, and Marty Skrull. I actually can see them both going to NXT for a bit. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe Ibushi as well. But I would like to see Ibushi more on the main roster, yeah. and their free agents. <laughs> they should, they can show up wherever they want. Yeah, and it won't. They won't. They won't show up the next night on Raw. Because... No, but like because they right were... after Royal Rumble. Yeah, because the Royal Rumbles, they're gonna be in the. Hot bed. They're not going to introduce a story that soon. No, but like they show up Monday after Royal Rumble, and they're just like, and they're in the audience. They're up in the 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 balcony. I'm just like, hey, what's up, guys? We're the elite. No, because they own the rights to the elite. Yeah, no, they don't. You do that. Um. Okay. What they, do you do? They tack the Royal Rumble winner. Okay. I mean, sure. You know, be really super fun. kick party. Yeah. Hell yeah. Or better yet, better yet, better yet. Yes. Cody is number 30. And when... Oh, my God. But here's the thing, though. Because it never happens. This would be a great surprise. Yes. When number 30 comes out, as it's counting down, there's only two people in the ring. And as it hits, like, one, someone goes over. And let's say, let's put... uh, it's Seth Rollins. It's Roman Reigns. No, no, because he's not going to drop the belt anytime soon. <laughs> no, no, they still put him in there anyway. Yeah, but no, like, but no, it's Seth Rollins in the ring. Okay. He so it's one more person. So it was like, wow, this is going to be a shorter Royal Rumble than normal. Yeah. Ooh, so that'd this be a surprise. Is be crazy. That'd be interesting. Um, but also, like, as Cody comes out, it's like, okay, wow, holy crap, they got Cody. Yeah, they got Cody, and everyone's like, the the, the fans like. Where's everyone else? Yes. And then Seth Rollins like, oh yeah, come on. And he turns around. He's like, and Cody gets on the apron. And he's like, and he turns around. Super kick party from the Young Bucks. Um, both of them, boom, right then and there. Kenny comes in. Um, one wings angel, angels. Oh yes. Um, followed by Abushi. I forget uh, what his. Name, I don't know his, his big move. He, because. That's one thing I also truly enjoy about New Japan yeah. is that your finisher yep. is pretty well protected. Yeah, but he hits his finisher, then Cody gets in the ring. Yeah, hits the crossroads, throws him out. And oh then... no! I thought the in the last two you can pin. No, nope. for no. Royal Rumble. No, no. 
It's a, oh. you have to come yeah. out. Okay. Well, then in that case, you just literally picks yep. him up. Everyone picks him up. Yep. And just tosses him over. Cody gets into the ring. I see he's getting in the ring. Everyone else tosses Seth around. So Cody doesn't even have to touch anyone. Yeah. He Touches literally him. comes in. Oh, and he still has his big ass ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so he comes, he gets in the ring as they toss him out over the top. And he's just like, huh, we're, I'm going to WrestleMania. I'm going, yeah, just points. And he's just like, <laughs> and then they walk out through the crowd. And then he's just like, and then they're out. And you're like, wait, what just happened? Yeah, it's like, Did what Cody just... actually win? And yeah. they're like, yeah, Cody technically he won. Technically won without ever touching his opponent. And you could truly run it as an invasion angle. There you go. Because then Finn becomes part of them. Yeah, you could then start. Then AJ comes over. Then Luke and uh, uh, Luke and Carl come over. Well, of course, you, I would say use those guys as the ones who said, like they come out, but then they're like they attack them, saying, quote unquote, attack them because they kicked them out. Oh yeah. Well, I, I could see AJ and Finn being upset with the young bucks. Yep. Because. Every time that uh, that a leader had been kicked out, yep. it was the Young Bucks. They are the ones who kicked it off. Yes, with a super kick. Yeah, so that you use that as a way of saying no, no, they're actually on WWE side. Yeah, but then you, they turn, and, and they then actually, they're just like, no, 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 no. we're we're just messing with you. We, a, we elite too. We're here too. It's just some of us are on SmackDown, others are, other of us are on Raw. <laughs> we're spread. We're everywhere. And then there's a few in NX. T, because you don't see Squirrel or Hangman. Oh, right with away. Them. Yeah, they debut later on NXT. All right. When all of the elite, we're talking about everyone shows up there too. All right, I like so you it. You get Cody down there. Like they're not gonna be a mainstay. No. But they can show up randomly, as part of the the and backing of Hangman. Even better is you can have Squirrel Squirrel over at uh, Two Hundred Five Live. Yep. <laughs> Once again. Fighting to stay at 205, so mm-hmm. because he's the head, he's the cruiserweight champion, because yeah. you'll put the belt on him. Uh, Hangman Page could definitely come into NXT and run over everyone, and then come up to the yeah. the main roster. See, I would use Squirrel in both. Oh yeah, cruiserweight 205 and NXT, but to start with NXT first. Oh yeah, and then 205 yeah. live and back and forth. Because you could easily put a belt, do a a mix thing with him. Winning the NXT title quickly, and Hangman Page could win the North American Championship. Yep. Um, and then when it's only a short run for for Squirrel as an NXT champion, and then he goes up to 205 Live. He comes back down every so often to back up Hangman, and the Elite will show up as well. Oh yeah. Every so often. Oh yeah. See that, especially it, at takeovers. Yes. Um, that would be a cool thing. Will it happen? Who well, knows? Probably not. Probably no, not. Though, They're just uh, pipe dreams. Apparently, on the last episode of the beginning of the beat, they showed a countdown clock. That apparently much hints that their oh contracts... yeah, there, there's it's the contracts. Their contracts are coming up. Yeah, apparently expire believe... on on January first. Uh, yeah, I, bl- I I was about to say I'm like yeah, I think it's like two months. Yeah, um, it's either the end of December or it's early in January. Which... I think it's actually post Wrestle Kingdom. I think so too. I but think the... it's like the fifth. Yeah, because the um, if it did be midnight, I mean on New Year's Eve. Yeah, I mean New Year's Day. Um, it would be interesting because there's a few days later before. Wrestle yeah, Kingdom. I don't. I, I you, think it's post Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, I would. Do, that's what I would do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us know your thoughts down below. Yes. Um, and all this news. Tell us if you th- you're actually excited about Super Showdown under whatever the. I am gonna worry about you having a concussion worse than Liv Morgan. Yes, because all Liv Morgan did was change her hair color to. Not necessarily. You actually thought Super Showdown was uh, exciting. Yeah. In the Florida of the world. Dude, what is your problem with Australia? They don't. Why are we putting plastic dolls? Uh, why are we putting shrimp on plastic dolls? It doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. You're putting shrimp on the Barbie. Why are you doing that? Barbecue, dude. Barbecue. Then just call it BBQ, bro. It's ribs, it's slow cooking. It's Australia, man. And you don't put shrimp in barbecue. It's beef. It's pork. Sausages. There's chicken. It's good, good meat. You've never heard of a shrimp stir, like a, um, 
I can't remember what they're called. A kebab? The kebab, <laughs> like whatever. Um, you can grill Skewers. shrimp. Skewers. They're good. Yeah, it's grilled shrimp. It's not barbecued. Barbecued is a very specific way of cooking. Sure, whatever. Anyway, let us know your thoughts down there. If you, like you said, you actually look forward to the Super Showdown Under, uh, we will question your sanity. Yes. No, I would love to actually go and live in Australia at some point in the way. Eh. Probably New Zealand first, but... You, you wouldn't be able to become a citizen there, though. Why not? Because you don't have skills that they want. Oh, really? Yeah, that that's their citizenship thing. Well, I didn't say I wanted to be a citizen. I just said we live there. Oh, okay. That's cool. I think it's good about being a citizen. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit ding. The, hit notifications. Hit the bell. Hit that bell. Ding, ding. Really hit that bell. You're just pissed off, aren't you? I am angry. This cold is kicking my ass. Yeah, it is. And I'm about to kick your ass even more. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great week. We'll see you next time.